So I have in my hand a shot of Heinz Premium Dark Soy Sauce. Now I bet you're wondering why I have in my hand a shot of Heinz Premium Dark Soy Sauce. Well, cheers. Oh, so bad. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. Now why did I do that? Like, seriously, why did I do that? Because I found people who actually enjoy this madness. It's a show called Why Would You Eat That? I mean, seriously, why did I eat that? Where they take the weirdest stuff, prison wine, scorpions, fermented shark meat, and feed it to their video crew. It looks so innocent. <laughs> it's so awful. <sighs> Holy sh**. <laughs> These guys are crazy. But awesome. You can check them out here and if it's your sort of thing make sure you subscribe and also make sure you request something really crazy in their comments for them to eat. I'm sure they'll enjoy that. Anyway, I'm gonna go swim my mouth out and leave you guys with replays. Goodbye. Hey guys, welcome to Tari Bash Replay Showcase episode 10 with me Jack Morris from Man of Fire Films where this week we're kicking things up a notch. We're gonna have a couple of extra replays and also shaders. So I've been playing around with the shaders in the game just to see if I can make the video a little bit prettier, make it look a bit nicer for you guys to watch. And uh, I've settled on this as the test run for the shaders. I'm not sure whether you guys are going to like it or not, but you got to try stuff. So if you don't like the shaders, be sure to comment it and I'll go back to default. Or we can try it other shaders, whatever, let me know. But I thought, I thought we'd play with it this week because it looks really pretty having the awesome lighting effects as uh, people kick ass. So... Let's jump straight into it with the first replay, in case you couldn't tell, which is Muffin Master by Kill the Cook. Let's see this. This is a um, pretty cool replay, if I remember correctly. Can't really remember much about the replays. This, ooh, that's a decap. I quite like the uh, kind of football kick right there on the head. That's kind of awesome. Dunk. That's awesome. Can't remember a lot about the replays this week. Um, put them in the folder quite a while ago, so we're gonna have a lot of trouble. I've also kicked it back down to 30 FPS because a lot of you were complaining that you didn't like it at 60, so we've gone back to 30, so yeah. Asking you shall receive. That is a crotch punch. Asking you shall receive. That's an awesome replay. Thank you, Kill the Cook. Let's move on. Uh, this is Death Ball Pro by L Devil. Let's uh, see. Wow, the Death Ball map looks really, really different in this shader, but I'm sure you guys can still tell. Um, oop, wrong crap, that was the wrong button. I meant to do that. Uh, no I didn't, no I didn't, no I didn't, it's all gone bad, all gone bad. What have I meant to, there we are, that's what I meant to do. Okay, here we go. Sorry about that guys, a little bit of professional drop there. That is a good throw. Good throw indeed, El Devil. So as you can see, he gets it, free form throw into the blue. Let's see it from this angle. Uh, that is a hell of a throw and it goes straight in there. Alright, that's awesome. Loving these death, death, death ball replays. I'm really, really, um... I'm really glad that mod took off. It's an awesome, awesome mod. Uh, so this is um, Grabbing Splitter Decap by Pyrorox on the wrestling mod I uh, showcase. Let's see this. Ooh. Oh, wow. Jesus Christ. That's a good, that's a really, really good grab. <laughs> I, like the, uh, I like the cocky stance as well. That's pretty awesome. All right. Really wish I could do smooth mouse movement. I'm really not very good at that. That's awesome. I quite like the, um, I don't know whether you guys know it. So he kind of spikes the head into the ground as well. Spike. That's Dude, cool. Did you get a decap? Yeah, that's a decap as well. That's really awesome. Thank you, Pyrox. That's great. We're going to leave these ones. These are all replays by me. We'll get to those. Uh, this is Jeff Gets Owned by Cyronix. I'm under the impression I'm saying that name right. I mean, after all this time, I really, really should say his name right. Um, so that's the, his replay. Oh, God. Oh, Jeff. Why? No, Jeff. Oh, Jeff. Oh, Je Jeff gets a real hard time on these these showcases, man. He gets decapitated, brutalized, murdered. All he does is stand there. Look, look. All he does is stand there wanting a hug. That's all he does. He's just, he just wants a hug. Somebody hug Jeff. And then, no, you, you rip him in half, rip his arm off, and then throw his head off into the distance. God damn it. One more time, this time with feeling. Oh, that's such a cool replay. Uh, as you can see, I'm trying something different with the camera movements for the most part as well. Please let me know what you think of that in the comments. I'm unsure whether you guys will like it or not, but yeah, gotta try stuff. Uh, gonna also leave that one till last but one because I remember that one. Um, this is, uh, Lilac with Starlit Beaches. Uh, kind of fitting that we have the nice little sunset in the background for this one. Let's check this out. Go into free camera movement. Oh, good God! Jesus! Now, there is a little problem with shaders that trails tend not to show up correctly, but I think that's acceptable. That is so cool. Jesus Christ. Good God, that's awesome. Gotta love the l nice little victory spin as well. Oh, that looks so cool. Let's see, let's see it from behind. 
Oh man, that's awesome. That is a really, really cool replay. Thank you, Lilac. I'm hoping I'm saying your name right. This is Strange Days by Lucid Spores. Uh, let's get into a nice position to see that. Strange Days. Wow, yep. <laughs> well, I've, I've had strange days before, but I've never been kicked in half and then my arms kicked off. I've had really strange days, but I can't say that's ever happened. Oh, I did not realize he had a bit of the body there as well. He sort of gives his own hand a little bit as well. It's kind of awesome. Let's see that. And Gib... Oh, he catches it. He catches and throws his own arm at Jeff's arm. God, all right, that's creative. That is a creative kill right there. Let's see it one more time. Kick and split. Awesome. Very, very cool replay. Thank you. This is, right, this is, I remember this one. This is Throat Kick by Ross Barker. Now, this is a very, very simple move, but it's, it's, got, a, it's got a certain amount of charm to it because of Jeff's neck. I've never seen the neck get dislocated before on its own. Like, I've seen other stuff get dislocated and the neck, but look at that. That's such a, look at the head. Hang on, let's get into a nice angle to see that. Look at the head kind of, kind of waggle. That's awesome. That's so, I don't know. Something about that has a bit of charm. I mean, just... I, I, I really like it. What can I say? Sometimes the little things amuse me, in case you couldn't tell. Uh, and this is uh, Whip Whip 3 by ConCon19. Uh, let's watch this from the start. Um, let's see what the whip is. Oh, God, that is that is indeed a whip. Jesus Christ, that is quite the powerful whip. I quite like the double leg, uh, not a decapitation, double leg dismemberment there. That's really cool. As you can see, his leg kind of sweeps in from behind there and takes out both of his legs. Uh, takes up both of Jeff's legs and the handstand for style, obviously. Very, very cool replay. Let's see this one more time. Let's watch this from uh, Jeff's point of view because we've been neglecting that this view. What are you doing down there, Concon? Oh, my legs! No! Ah, I like the video for the worst voice acting I've ever done. Now, a couple of you may have been wondering, uh, in case you're wondering, I am feeling a lot better. I was kind of off last week, but I'm still... There's still remnants of it, so but I'm not going to use that as an excuse. That voice acting was terrible. Okay, so this replay is Jissy ver Jizzy versus Jizzy. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right. I mean, I might, I might not be. Now, this is him controlling both of the uh, Tories. <laughs> I'm just going to let this one speak for itself. I, re I remember this one, like, flu I didn't even have a word. It's so fucking cool. Jesus Christ, this is awesome. Look, I mean, how can you even put that into words, what's going on there? That's just... Jesus Christ, that is an awesome replay. I'm particularly fond of the hand-leg flip technique thing that's going on there. I'm not even going to try and comment what's going on in this replay. It's just, it's just beautiful. Just remember that I can use Q and E to fly up and down, which is going to make for... I mean, look at that. That's just awesome. Let's see if we can get a nice little angle on the back flip there. Hang on. Wow, that was the worst attempt at a Matrix style, uh, Matrix style thing ever. Ah, oh, it's so cool. I love that replay. It's it's got to be the best. Okay, so as it's episode ten, I thought I'd do something a little bit special. I've put in, as you can see, three replays by myself. This one is just actually no, we're not going to show that one yet. I've changed my mind. So I ju I'm putting these replays in just as evidence that through trial and error and just damn practice at this game, you actually can get a little bit better. Now, as you guys know, I am notoriously bad at Tori Bash, which is ironic because I have three Tori Bash shows on YouTube, but I am notoriously bad. When I first started my Tori Bash tip series back on Simply Talking Videos, this was the best replay, or it's recreated now, this was the best replay I could come up with. Also, in case you're wondering about my new character design, these uh, models were sent to me by fans, um, uh, Manly Potato and... I can't pronounce, I can see the guy's name, it's O-Y-U-S, oh, oh, yeah. oh yes, oh yes, Manly Potato and Oh Yes sent me uh, these various items that you're now seeing on my uh, Tori, which I think is, I was really grateful, big shout out to them for this, and my Tori's looking slightly sexier now, as you can see my nice name on my uh, my arm, because I'm that vain, um, so yeah, this was the best replay I could come up with, now, I, I still don't think it's awful, it took a little while to work out, but it's very, it's very clunky, it's, an, oh god, bloody wrong button there, um, it's very clunky, kind of, but, you know, and I was kind of proud of that. Oh, I've edited the replay, so now it's not working. Oh, well. But I think over the course of Tori Bash Tips, I've probably learned, I've learned more about the game than I've probably taught. So this is, uh, actually, no, we'll show, we'll show that one I teased earlier first, I think. So this is me playing around with 400 engaged distance using the shift spaces and trying to stay limp. You know, when you compare the Baby Steps replay to this one, I'm, I'm actually kind of proud of this. Uh, let's see it from... See it from the front, because I think that looks maybe the best angle to view it at. I mean, it's not the best replay. We've seen better replays on this episode. But I think if, the, if, if I can get better at this game, anybody can. So, and then there's what I'm, what I'm 
pretty confident is my best replay. It's the art of progression, and I'm rather happy with how it turned out. So let's um let's view that. I'm gonna I'm obviously gonna let this replay speak for itself because I don't want to comment it on my own replays. So yeah, I'm fairly happy with that replay. It's, I know it's nowhere near as good as the pros, but I mean, considering when you compare it to the replay I showed you guys earlier, I'm I'm actually kind of proud of that. Um, so I don't normally do this. Not. I don't normally do this on replay showcase, not because I don't want to, but because I usually can't, because I have no idea what's going on. But I'm actually gonna use um, how do I? I thought it was Shift P. I guess I'm wrong. I thought I could. I thought I, I thought I could um, cycle frames, but apparently I can't. Um, now I'm gonna try and explain what I did here. So I kind of contracted into uh, you to tr knock off his arm. Uh, you, Jesus Christ, that's, I feel dirty. I, I, I kind of contracted into Jeff, but one of the main highlights is that I actually. I, I kind of want to demonstrate this. I actually kind of cut off his le his head with a scissors attack from my legs rather than actually punching it. I was quite proud of that. I mean, I know this is turning kind of boastful, but it's not about saying that I actually made an okay replay. It's more that you really can get better at this game if you just play the game. It's, it's the beauty of Tori Bash that it's one of the only games out there that you literally, the only way you can improve is by actually playing the game. Learning it does help. Knowing what joints do what certainly helps a lot. But I, just, I don't know. I think... um there's a lot to be said for the progression of that, hence the art of progression. Um, I also have a very, very big announcement to make. Um, this Friday is actually our one-year anniversary of Man on Fire Films. That's right, we've been around for one year, January 18th, this Friday. We're doing a couple of things to celebrate. One thing you guys should be very interested in. We're doing a live stream Q&A where you can show up and ask questions in the chat. We did a live stream a little while, a couple of days ago, and it was a lot of fun. A couple of uh, Utari Bash fans showed up there, and that was kind of awesome. Um, we'd love, love, love to see you guys in that st in the stream chat talking, asking us questions. You can ask us anything ranging from Man on Fire, personal questions, uh, Tori Bash questions, whatever you want. It'll be me and the other members of Man on Fire. You should really, really check it out. Um, not sure about the times yet. Keep an eye on the channel. I'll be making an event saying when the time is. Odds are pretty good. It'll be 6 p.m. GMT, but I'm not. Uh, don't quote me on that. It is subject to change, but it'll be this Friday, live stream Q&A with me and the rest of the members of Man on Fire teams. I've also flo another Tori Bash related thing. I've been floating the idea around for a while of maybe hosting my own Tori Bash tournament, like Man on Fire Films' is Tori Bash tournament with you fans, you guys entering, maybe a Tori, a Tori credit prize. Not really sure of the details yet. I thought I'd mention the idea to you guys though to see if any of you would actually be interested in entering. Please let me know in the comments if that's something you'd be interested in because I need to know how many entrants we can get before I actually put a lot of time and effort into planning this thing. But it is something I'd very, very much like to do. I've been working out the details and it is, I won't be breaking any rules which is awesome so please let me know in the comments if you've been interested in that um another announcement it's a big week for announcements but it's all tori bash related so you guys should be ha uh should oh, be okay with that you may have noticed if you spend a lot of time on the tori bash forums that uh the pros i guess the pros of tori bash have started live streaming them playing the game i popped into the live stream uh saturday night and had a nice chat with some fans it was a lot of fun i really 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 encourage you to check it out and uh who knows this saturday there might might be a, li uh, a nice cameo from yours truly. Uh, hopefully the details can work out so that I can actually appear on the live stream. If my schedule allows it, I would, I would. They've asked me and I'd love to do it. So please check that out. You can see me completely fail at the game. You should go check that out. Huh, I think that is everything. Apologies for the ad at the start of the video, but I hope my suffering makes up for it. And uh, yep, yeah, please subscribe. I'm not gonna, actually, I take that back. I don't apologize for the ad because... Drinking soy sauce is the most disgusting thing I have ever done. Here's a pro tip for all you YouTubers out there who might actually have to do ads at some point. Record the video following the ad before you record the torture. Because my throat is still... I still got the taste. And it is a foul, foul taste, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you. Anyway, I'm Jack Morris from Manify Films. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe. Like... It's really, really long, dramatic pause there. Please subscribe, like, comment, favorite the video, and I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.